Hey there. Welcome to another episode of Heart and Hustle. Visionary healers, movers, and shakers. I am your host, Paulette Riestini, here to bring you magic makers from around the globe. People who are creating change, who have small businesses, large businesses, hobbies, but they are creating the life of their dreams. And that, my friends, is what living is all about. So let us know how you like this episode. Please subscribe and we'll see you there. Thanks for joining. Got it. Hey, hey, my friends. Welcome to another episode of Heart and Hustle. Visionary healers, movers, and shakers. I am your hostess, Paulette Reese Denis, and I am so happy to be here with you again. You know, I love, uh, I think we're in my, going in my fourth year of having this podcast, this video podcast. I love bringing you magic makers and people who are creating change and living the life of their dreams. And I love hearing stories of overcoming obstacles and hustles, right? The heart, the passion, and the hustle, the obstacles. So how we get to where we are, how we get to live our dreams, how we get to do the work that makes great change in the world. Bam! So today I get to bring you a woman from Florida. Nicole Tuxberry is here with us today and I'm so happy, Nicole, to have you with us. Welcome. Hi, I'm so excited to be here. Thank you for having me, Paulette. My pleasure, my pleasure. So Nicole, some of the things that you, you, your, your business is called Tuxby Digital, but you're kind of multi-passionate. Uh, yep. But what I love is that you help people overcome themselves. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I just love that because isn't that true? Isn't, aren't we the ones who always stand in the way of ourselves? It, yeah, that's what I found. Yeah, that I was in my own way, that that was what I needed to overcome. So, yeah. <laughs> so tell me your story with that. So what do you, what is it exactly that you're doing and how did you overcome yourself to get to do this so you can help others overcome themselves? <laughs> um, well, it's, it's like a lifelong journey. Like it's, I don't feel like it's like separate, like business, like it's just my life, you know? Um, and, but I, I kind of figured it out when I sat down to write a book. Um, when I hurt my back, I couldn't move. I couldn't get out of bed. And I was like, I'm going to use this for something. And so I wrote out like the first half of my book. Um, and I thought I was writing a book about entrepreneurship and having a business and making money. Um, and I ended up writing a book about gratitude and habits and finding the superhero in what I thought was my weakness. And I didn't even really get to touch on <laughs> anything about business. Wow. Um, Cause I figured out that that's kind of what it all led back to. Mm -hmm. um, and so overcoming myself was overcoming, you know, my mind, <laughs> um, learning to think about what I was thinking about um, and using it, you know, for me, instead of letting instead of letting things like fear take over and just keep me huddled down, um, you know, I had to use my, I had to learn to use my brain to get into abundance and to recognize opportunities and to be just grateful for what I have because it's, it's already so much, you know? <laughs> well, I mean, gratitude, right? Gratitude is like the best practice in the world. And I will say that over and over and over again. And it's something I teach my students and my clients all the time. Uh, it's so simple and yet we take so much for granted, right? Mm -hmm. we, we forget, we forget to take time to look. Yeah. And it's learning, um, to feel gratitude, like for the small things that we don't even think about anymore, yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah. Um, and then those learning to appreciate those smaller things actually helps us appreciate the bigger things. Cause one of the issues that I was having is I was accomplishing goals and it was kind of like, hmm, you know, and it, it didn't, <laughs> you know, and I was like, this is a problem. It's like, like check this, next. 
exactly and i was like what is this why you know i was so excited about this and and now it's just kind of like okay but like now i have this other thing and that's part of the entrepreneur personality type i learned that from alex charfin um and that's where i kind of started learning that the problem was that i was having was a gratitude problem and i could i wasn't appreciating you know what the the I wasn't appreciating the work I had put into the things that I'd accomplished. So imposter syndrome, like I battled that real hard because of that. Um, and that's been the solution. It's learning to practice gratitude. And the, what I do when I say that is just writing. I had to learn to just start writing three things down. Just find three things. It doesn't matter what it, if it's the air conditioner in your house, like, you know, right now, like, <laughs> you are grateful yeah. for that AC girl. Love <laughs> my air conditioner. <laughs> right? Um, and even when you don't really need it, like still being appreciative of it, you know, little things like that. And that's, that was, that's been the biggest thing, I think, to really overcoming myself and everything else that comes from that, right? It just gives you a, a, a perspective of, of living, of, you know, I mean, who, who invented air conditioners? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. But thank you very much. Amen. I mean, there's so many things like te technology, modern technology, modern conveniences that I wouldn't even know how to to begin. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you if you can go you can go way back with all that stuff, you know. <laughs> but um, I remember when I was growing up, you would leave the house. And like, if there was no pay phone, like you didn't know what was going on until you got back home. <laughs> right, right. Hello, what is this thing right here? What's this thing? Oh, I remember, I remember. Call me back after nine and a half, three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's crazy. It's really crazy. And and I think, you know, I, I think sometimes, like my mom is fantastic and she's 94 and to think, I mean, she just lived through COVID. She lives by herself. She lived in her house for a year by herself. And what has she seen all her life? I mean, she didn't even have a TV back when she was a kid, you know, or, I mean, it, ah, I, that blows my mind. And that's only one, one big, long, I mean, one long generation. What would we have done without Netflix last year? Oh my God! Hey, Zoom, look at Zoom right here, right now. Here we are. We get to meet because of this. I know. So it's yeah. really, it's so brilliant and so beautiful and so amazing. Uh, but when we have to take it back to the simple things, we have to take it back to ourselves, our bodies. And so, what was? What do you think? For you, so how did you step into this aspect of your business? What did you overcome? Um, I've overcome a lot. I feel like I've been overcoming since I can remember. Um, <laughs> my, you know, my mom died when I was one and a half. Um, so that's always been something that I've had to deal with. Hmm. Um, you know, like being in school and realizing that everybody else had like younger people. And, you know, I had like my great grandfather, I'd be holding, you know what I mean? And I realized it was a little bit different. Um, and that was really hard in my teenage years, you know, and then I had a stepmom, and um, I wasn't very nice <laughs> because I just had so much that I had to deal with, you know? Um, and then I tried to do the whole nine to five thing. And that I just realized that it wasn't for me. Um, you know, with a lot of the issues that I have, um, you know, just, you know, with ADHD, like, and time blindness, like, I'm always running late, and I don't mean to, you know, but I can get my stuff done. So, you know, it, it wasn't really like a good fit for me. Um, it doesn't mean I don't like working. Um, I just realized it meant I didn't like working in that aspect. And so I realized that I had to find a way to create income without having to, you know, do those things, you know, being able to, to, like I said, use what other people might consider my weaknesses and use it to my advantage. So I work yeah. kind of weird hours, but it's the hours that work. For me. Oops. Learning. Sorry. Sorry about that. Um, learning to do little things like that and work with what I've got instead of 
you know, like I mentioned, when I hurt my back and I couldn't walk, I wrote out my book. Like I didn't just sit there and watch TV, which I could have done. I kind of wanted to do, but I was like, no, no, I want, I need, I need to make something of this. And so I got to be grateful to have, you know, three or four days that I didn't have to go anywhere. And I just, I just let it out. You know, (laughs) what do you think was that driving force for yourself? Um, well, my mom is Cuban, so I know my uh, my last name is very American, but I grew up with my mom's family. Mm-hmm. Um, and so a big driving force was knowing that she came to this country, like she came on the freedom flights back in the 60s, you know, and I saw my grandfather had his own business. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I realized they didn't come to this country, you know, for mediocrity, you know, they came here and they built businesses. Like they came here with nothing. They came here with a suitcase and my grandfather built his own house. He had his own business. He bought his own house. And so like, who am I to be mediocre and just live a life that I could have had in Cuba? Like it's communist, you know, like why, why settle for that? Like they came here. Yes. Yes. That's so huge. (laughs) That's so huge. I, I say that, you know, why would you want to live in mediocrity? Why would you not want to be the best that you can be? I mean, the world is so abundant. Like there's so much to see. Um, You know, I've, I've been to a few States, but you know, I want to see the world. I want to meet new people. I want to, you know, provide things for, I want to be there for my kids. Like I didn't have my mom. So like being a mom is like something that's really important to me, you know, and I want to not worry about whether can I afford milk today? You know, I didn't want to be, I didn't want to be in that. So when, when I lost my baby, um, that was one of the things that I was like, um, that was a driving force too. And I was like, I, I was not in a good situation, you know, mentally, physically, financially, like, and, you know, I didn't do anything. Like it was just something that happened. And, um, and I was like, you know what, if, when this happens to me again, I want to make sure that I can give my baby the whole world, (laughs) you know? So that was a big lesson and finding gratitude in that moment. Cause that's really the only thing that I had to hang on to because what else do you have on to when something that big happens, you know? (laughs) Right. Wow. Yes. I mean, just to be, to live full on, just to be, and to be present. Mm. That, yes. Learning to be in the moment, not worrying about what happened, not worrying about what's going to happen, but that, um, that has something that came out of my gratitude practice that really, I didn't, I don't know, even know if I intended it to, but, um, I noticed I'm like, I'm here in this moment and I'm able to enjoy, like, I'm not worried right now about my next appointment. Like I'm enjoying the conversation we're having, you know, yeah. where I didn't used to do that. I'd be so nervous or I got to make sure I'm off the call by this time. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm in a conversation, you know, <laughs> I, I so. understand that one for sure. So what is, um, what's next for you? Um, well, I mean, in the present, well, what's next? (laughs) Yes, I have, um, I've got several things I'm working on. I have a, um, a company that I work with with a celebrity and we've, we're working on some products and we're expanding the line right now. Um, so we've also got some books coming out. Um, so that's, that's in the works. Can't talk too much about that yet, but it will, you know, we're in the background working on it. Okay. Awesome. Um, I'm working on a membership, uh, to help other entrepreneurs. I do have like free resources on, on my blog. I have my business and my my blog. Um, so plenty of free resources there if, you know, for, for help with a bunch of stuff, um, websites, things like that. Um, and, um, I want to help more people, you know, like I finally, found freedom. I, I, I took control of my time. I'm, I'm taking control of my money. Um, you know, that's a never ending journey, of course. Of course. Um, you can get more money, but you can't get more time. So um, I want to make sure that that's what I'm helping others to achieve. And maybe people um, like me who, who, who maybe are like neurodivergent, like I mentioned, 
and maybe they don't fit into that cookie cutter frame. Um, you know, I want them to know that there's hope out there that you can create an income and um, you can kind of have a lot of things that you do um, and, 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 you know, enjoy, actually enjoy life because that's, that's the whole point of this, right? Like we don't want to be miserable. <laughs> no, no, there's so much to experience and to, to learn from and to share and to be part of and just be in it with gratitude, <laughs> but with awe, right? I mean, I think I just want to be awed. You know, I want, and, I want, I want yeah. to see beautiful things. I want, I want my people to create amazing things. I want my people, my clients, my dancers, my students to, to shine. And I want to be awed. I want everyone to be illuminated. Right? And that's, in the gratitude in those little moments and seeing the beauty because if you don't yeah. if you're not grateful you don't see it and it'll just slip right by you <laughs> so true people did you hear that out there in heart and hustle land <laughs> it's so true it's so good it's so juicy um so nicole what do you do for yourself so i always love to talk about self-care like daily practices and and you know what feeds you um, I call them my success habits. I have a few things I call my success habits. Mm -hmm. um, that's one of the resources that I have is a success habits tracker. I'm working on expanding that. It goes along with my book. Um, and that includes, um, I do like my, my Bible study. So doing my faith-based activity in the morning, making sure I'm centered and I'm doing my prayers. Um, I also like to do language study because um, I speak several languages oh. and um, uh, so I'm learning a new language on my what phone you, what in the do you morning. Speak? Um, well, I speak Spanish. Um, I know a little bit of French and right now on Duolingo, I'm learning German. So, um, I wanted something that was a little bit challenging. So it's kind of fun because it adds, you know, something for my brain that's not work related. And, and it's really, it's, it's challenging me and it's making me learn, which is, which is cool. Um, and I also do a lot of reading. Um, and like I mentioned, my gratitude practice, I write down um, my the things I'm grateful for, making sure it doesn't turn into like an accomplishments list. Because I caught myself, mm. I was like writing accomplishments. I was like, no, 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 this isn't an accomplishments list. This is a gratitude list. Hold on. Oh, I love that. I love uh, being able to differentiate that. That's really important. That's really yes. awesome. Yeah. Um, so I, I was like, okay, so my brain wants to write an accomplishments list. We could write that. But right now, this is a gratitude list. Um, so those are the big things. And then um, getting exercise. We've been riding a lot of bike. I love going to the beach um, and bubble baths. Bubble baths <laughs> with like Epsom salts to just relax. Um, things like that um, are things that I love to incorporate into like my daily or weekly. I don't do bubble baths every day, but you know, like it's cool to incorporate that into your routine too. Mm, so nice. I actually went and got a pedicure yesterday for the first time in a year. Oh, I did my nails. Yeah. I know I did my I'm, nails too. I'm thinking that I'm done and, I, and I got a pedicure. I was like, you know what? This is important. It is. It's a small thing, but it's taking time for me to feel good about my body myself and to relax and let someone else take care of me for a little bit yes and you know what like you feel better like you know that little massage it helps and you feel better it it, it helps your body it's not just it's not just like the physical like oh my toes look cute it's like you know this actually helps your feet and like it's important to keep your nails nice you know like it's a health thing yeah yeah you know and I mean everybody has a different perspective on that but I think the idea of that is, yes, someone else can take care of you for a while. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be Wonder Woman 24 seven. Because <laughs> I used to think I was, right? Yeah. And just to say, hey, I need a little love. I need a little pampering. I need a little time for someone to take care of me. And you know what, even sometimes if I'm really stressed out, I'll grab a lotion and I'll massage my own feet and that helps a lot too. Oh, totally. Yes, totally. Mm -hmm. It's a different thing. It's a different thing, but the same yes. thing. I agree with you completely. Um, uh, yeah, so that's good. Well, good. Well, I'm excited about what you're doing and what you're bringing to the world and the work that, 
All Thank those you. new possibilities you're working on. That must feel really awesome. Yes, I've got to get the book out. I've, um, I'm in the editing right now. Okay. Um, is so this your first it, book or your second book? It, this is my first book. Okay. Um, but I am sure that the next one is not going to be long after this one because I, I really like the process. Um, and I'm excited to like share my knowledge because I spent so many years bumping my head and trying different MLMs and being in different companies. And, you know, I've had lunch with millionaires and um, I want to share that knowledge. You know, I don't want to keep it bottled up. And so if it could help someone, if this interview helps someone, then, you know, like I'm accomplishing my goal. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, and I mean, that's all we all deserve to have that. Absolutely. It can be small and it can be huge. It can be, you know, um, something at home or it could be something that overtakes, you know, the world. <laughs> and just Absolutely. to be able to dream, but to make those dreams come true because they can come true, right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, that's so good. Well, Nicole, thank you for sharing time with me. No, thank you for having me. Yeah. Oh, it's been wonderful. You're adorable. I love, I love your whole oh, vibe. <laughs> I love what I do and I love getting to meet people like you and I love seeing what changes people are making in the world. It's really important because everybody has a role. Everybody has a place. Yes. Everybody has something unique to offer. Absolutely. And I love doing these interviews because like you said, like, it's so cool meeting all these yeah. other entrepreneurs that are out there just kicking yeah. ass, if you don't mind me saying. Like, like meeting you is amazing, you know? I'm not yeah. the only one back here, you know, like battling it out and getting it done, you know? <laughs> yeah. and, 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 you know, just saying that, it's like, it's also important to know that we're not alone. Absolutely. Sometimes, you know, and you were saying this earlier, is, and, I, and I tell people to fly your freak flag. Come on. Yes, I was gonna say I love that you're so unique. Like you didn't, you didn't put on like a like a you know like a blazer to come talk to me. <laughs> oh, my God, no. oh my God, no, 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 no. You but know, I think yeah. it's so important because um, people need to know that their vision is unique to them, and it can be anything. Absolutely, they can do anything, and the world wants it. I think everyone's hungry for you know, individuality and creativity and uniqueness. And, and so what if it's fucking weird? There's so many opportunities out there. Like the things that people like are insane. Like you see, um, I, I talk about it in my book, some girl that she's a cross stitcher for rappers. Like they, she just does cross stitch and she sells it to really like high end, you know, she charges a lot of money. Love it. <laughs> Like whatever you do, there's, there's a market for it. I'm yeah. sure of it. You can't, you cannot be the only person on this planet that likes what you like. You just can't like it's, yeah. it's, and, it goes against the numbers. And, and, <laughs> and the other thing, what you just said is that there's a market for it. So, I mean, sometimes it can be a hobby and just a beautiful yeah. thing that you create for yourself, for your friends. And sometimes it can be turned into a business and it's okay to make money doing what you love. Absolutely. I get really adamant about this because I've seen so many women going, oh no, I can't charge for that. I'm like, I pay for that. We feel guilty. It comes so easy to us, I guess, is, is one of the problems we have. So, <laughs> I've yeah. battled with that too. Yeah. So turning you're turning your passions into a business or realizing that that's not what you want to do with them and you just want to do it for fun. I mean, there, you yeah. can do it both ways. Yeah. That's um, totally okay too. And so, I mean, I just, I, it's so important to be, to have that clarity of what it is you truly desire. Nobody else writes the book for you. You got to write your own. Big time. Yes. And you got to finish your book, you girl. Like. <laughs> yes, I will. I'm so excited. I keep talking about it. I'm like, let's go get it out there. So yeah. yes, I'll be yeah, finishing yeah. up in the next, soon, in the next few weeks, for sure. Hey, I heard you. Oh, Check it with me. Yes. <laughs> Is that a rubber ducky ring? Can I see your ring? Oh, it's a flower. Oh, it's a flower. It's beautiful. Thank you. I got that in Italy. They're so awesome. It's gorgeous. So fun. So anyway, Nicole, thank you for being here. Thank you, everybody out in Heart and Hustle Land. That was really fun. <laughs> yes. Thank yeah, you so fun. much. I love, I just love this so much. And I love all of you for being here. And I also love to hear what your takeaways are or what you need, what you want, what you desire. 
who you want to hear from, you know, how can I help? How can Nicole help you? So check in with her stuff. I'll give you all her links and please, please, please subscribe. I'm on YouTube, iTunes, SoundCloud, Vimeo, my blog at www.paulatreesdennis.com. So please subscribe and join my email community as well as Nicole's and um, anyone else who, you know, rings your bell. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Thank so you we, so much, Paulette. Yes. And until we meet again, mwah, many blessings. Mwah. And stay cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>